everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can proof a stay with the distraction of toys using positive reinforcement. Are you ready, pop-ups? Ask your dog to get into the position. Halo down. Good job. And then you're going to present the toy in a very non-exciting way. So just holding the toy up. And as you show your dog the toy, you're going to click and treat. So you click as you show the toy and then go to feed your dog a treat. If you have a helper, it's easier and you can work from a distance so the helper can hold the toy out and you can click and feed your dog for staying in the position as the person shows the toy. If you take a toy out and your dog stops eating food, it means the toy is too exciting for the exercise. So choose a lower value toy or maybe your dog doesn't have a lower value toy and you can use something like an old pair of socks to first play this game before moving on to using toys. You can also have someone holding the toy at a distance from your dog, maybe from across the room and you can work on marking and feeding your dog for seeing the toy across the room at first if you have a dog that is completely toy obsessed. If your dog is successful with this you can start to increase criteria and delay when you click so I'm going to put the toy down and instead of just clicking immediately as I put the toy down I'm going to put it down a couple of times before I click and feed. Now the next step he already did, which is I'm going to do this distraction and I'm going to wait for him to look at me and I'm going to click and reinforce him for doing that. So he doesn't think that if there's a distraction while he's staying, he has to stare at it. Good job. If your dog doesn't think to look at you, it could be that the distraction is too exciting, but also that he might not know to look at you. So you can use your kissy noise or attention noise or his name and say that, so while he's looking over there, I'm going to make a kissy noise, click and treat, and then see if he thinks to do it on his own after a couple of times. Good job. Good boy. Awesome. Now I'm going to throw the toy and I'm going to click as I throw the toy and give him a treat. Good job. If at any point your dog gets up, simply lure the dog back into the position, move your hand away, click your dog for staying, and then drastically reduce criteria to something very easy, for example, holding the toy in a very boring manner and clicking your dog for staying there. Awesome. Good. Awesome. Yes, that was good. Good job. A squeaky toy can be one of the hardest distractions for many dogs, so I suggest squeaking the toy as you feed a treat at first because most dogs might jump up as they hear the squeak. Then you can start to delay when you give the treat. So you're going to squeak and then give the treat. And I'm holding the toy in a very casual manner. I'm not getting the dog super excited about it. I'm just squeaking and then going to feed a treat. Good job. Good job. Awesome. If the dog were to get up, I could get the dog to lay down again and then practice squeaking and feeding at the same time like that. Good job. He's doing so good, I can move on to the next step, which is squeaking a lot and moving the toy around like this. Good job. And then I'm going to see if he might think to look at me. Good. This distraction is going to be too much for Halo, and he's going to get up, and then I can show you what to do if your dog gets up. So I'm going to stand up and squeak this, and as you see, he got up. So I'm going to lure him back into the position. Halo. And then I'm going to lure him into the down. And it's a little tricky because there are other dogs there. Move my hand away. Click and feed. And now I'm just going to squat and squeak the toy. Click and feed him. Good. Good job. And now I'm going to stand up and squeeze it while I'm next to him. Good job. And now from further away. Good job. 
Good job. Good. Don't forget to release your dog from the position using their release cue. And if the dog doesn't get up immediately, encourage your dog up, mark and reinforce your dog for getting up. Are you ready? Halo free! Good job! I hope you found this video helpful for your training. If you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a supporting member of Channel Kiko Pup by clicking the join button. See you later guys!